Hello everyone and welcome to my second Arduino tutorial. This one builds on some of the things we did in the first tutorial and it's essentially uh, a temperature sensing circuit which also controls a servo motor. It uses a thermistor as a temperature sense and I'm going to keep my fingers over this because what happens is once it falls below um, 21 degrees or 20 degrees it sounds a very annoying, annoying buzzer. I've got a full circuit uh, schematic to show you on this one so everything that I've got here you can easily replicate on breadboard. Um, what I'm going to do is just let my finger off the thermistor now and of course the temperature will fall. And what we will see is the servo motor which um, is at 108 degrees above 25 degrees C then when it falls below it goes to 90 degrees and below 21.9 degrees it falls to uh, it goes to zero degrees and then below that the annoying buzzer comes on so I shall let go of the thermistor and there you see it goes straight away that's to 90 degrees it will take longer for the temperature to fall you can read the temperature here hopefully just about I've also got the voltage there I'll go through a little bit about that later when we go through the code and there we go uh, it's gone below 21.9 and if we just wait a bit longer we will even hear the buzzer go and then I'll crack on with the rest of the tutorial yes okay here goes all right so this is the circuit you're going to be using it's um I discovered something called I think it's tinker cam which uh, makes setting this kind of thing up really quite easy. This took me about mm, 15 minutes in total uh, from being an absolute beginner. So what you've got is the basic setup for the Arduino LCD, which we covered in the first tutorial. Uh, we've got the potentiometer and all those other bits and pieces. We've got a buzzer. Um, there's no three pin buzzer in the components here, so I've just indicated that this buzzer has a signal from pin 7 um, and I just used the same buzzer as I did in the last tutorial. The servo motor has a power and ground and its signal is from pin 9 which is a pulse width modulator output which is needed for the servo control. Um, and the temperature sensing is done through a potential divider which uses a resistor of a given value, in this case I use 10k and the thermistor that comes with the uh, with the Arduino pack that I've been using. Now I don't know an awful lot about this thermistor so I had to make a few, um, shall we call them educated guesses when setting up the coding but I've got it there or thereabouts and I could tweak it to my satisfaction. If I wanted to be more precise I would use simply use something like an LM35 temperature sensor which makes the conversion very easy um, but for the purposes of today and the fact that I don't have an LM35 at home um, I've just used the potential divider here and it works okay. There's no problem with that at all as you saw in the um, in the actual video with, that we started this with. So what I was thinking was that I just want to make a, a simple temperature sensing device that could take some actions once we get to um, certain temperatures. And the, the way the circuit basically works is that it... Um, monitors the voltage on pin A0 here which is from the potential divider input and what I do in the code then is I take that um, analog voltage um, I, I turn well basically what you get is a value between 0 and 123 here and then I convert that into an analog voltage using 5 volts as a base and then further I convert that into a temperature so I use a further conversion to, to turn the um, the voltage into a temperature so if, if you remember at the beginning on the LCD crystal we've got the temperature and we've also got the analog voltage and that just gives me a way of monitoring uh, what the analog voltage looks like in terms of the, the temperature as well um, and the last part of the code really is to control well two things one is that when the temperature falls below a certain point a buzzer comes on uh, that would be an alarm saying it's got too cold okay the actions you've taken have got too cold um, of, uh, and f 
also that we've got this um, servo motor here which we could use as an actuator so say for example we were in a space um, and it was getting really really warm in that space a greenhouse might be a, a good um, example of that so the actuator can open the window fully at say greater than 25 degrees um, when it falls to 22 degrees it, it closes the window halfway and when it falls down to um, 21 degrees it closes the window all the way and of course you can mess around with all of that in software yourself uh, it's very easy to change values once you've got the code set up um, the next stage for this which I'm not doing today the next stage is to integrate a keypad where you can program the values using a keypad as well um, you can probably do that with buttons that's the next thing I'm going to look at either a keypad or doing it through buttons um, but what I wanted to do get to today was just a further iteration on in the learning cycle where we we're taking what we've already got which is some of the um, LCD setup routines uh, we've got a buzzer working already and now to actually read a, a, a voltage or an input value uh, to convert that into a real world value that we understand such as temperature and then to perform some actions on that temperature as it changes okay So here's the code that we're going to be using with our Arduino. We've already gone through um, some of the things with this, such as to verify your code and also to upload it to Arduino. Uh, that was covered in the first tutorial. One thing that you do need to do, uh, which is different from the first tutorial, we've still got the liquid crystal library, but you also need to include the servo library. And the way that you would do that is you go somewhere in here. It is somewhere in here. I will find it. Um, include library there we are so if we go to sketch include library um, and if you scroll down you will find the servo library and you um, include that okay uh, so you just include that into your into your program and also as I've done I've, I've defined the servo as my servo that's what I'm going to refer to I'm only using the one servo motor some programs use obviously a lot more but we start at the beginning um, and then we've got the same liquid crystal library that I had before. We've got the serial begin, which we have used before as well. Um, and we are doing serial communication, 9,600 bits per second. Um, we've got the LCD begin, which sets up the LCD as exactly the same before. We've got pin mode beep, which is the output for the buzzer. And we've also got pin mode eight, which is um, an output and we've got my servo which is attached to pin 9 so my servo the servo motor to get that to work i've had to attach that to a, to an output and i've attached this one to pin 9 as i showed you in the um, diagram so that is all that you need um, the other things um, i didn't actually use this in the end but i set up an integer temperature um, to store temperature an integer position for the position of the servo okay um, and I've also got the constant integer here beep which is pin 7 as um, earlier described and then we get to the actual um, void loop the the main program which loops through there's, there's quite a lot to it but some of it we've come across before but the first bit is the sensor value and what that's asking us or what we're trying to do here is we're reading the analog output of a big farm we're reading the analog in input to pin a zero so sensor value is the value that we read to pin eight zero now the next very next line of code what we do is we convert that into a voltage so there are 100 1, 1024 separate states which range between um, 0 and 5 volts um, and in order to, to um, convert that into a voltage you simply take the 5 volts remember 5 volts is the supply voltage to the Arduino and divide that by 1024 and that will give you a voltage readout um, which is very well it's pretty accurate actually pretty accurate as, as to what that would be 
um, and you print that out that value you read and that happens here in the serial print line voltage although in actual fact I'm not using that because I am doing that print out here on the LCD okay so voltage appears there and as from before you can see that we've set the cursor up the bottom left here and the temperature here is set up with the, the cursor at the top right um, the next thing is the what I do is I take the sensor value at the whole of this now I fiddled around with this for ages to try and get this to work and this is the only way that I could get it to work but I basically came out with with a um, with an algorithm if that's what you want to call it which uses the the voltage I tried using um, voltage in there just wasn't working so I had to use the whole of this whole of this sensor value and of course you can see there are quite a lot of nested uh, brackets here but th but the basis of it is that I'm working with the room temperature at 20 degrees and then I've got the what it, what is basically the analog voltage at 20 degrees okay minus um, the the voltage that we read and then we simply multiply that by 20 um, now you could go through this I could go I could spend an hour going through the maths of this but uh, but you can fiddle around with these values as much as you like to be to get it to become more responsive or less responsive um, but take my word for it that that is quite close to the to the temperatures that we're working with um, and as I said before if you wanted to be more precise then you would use something like an LM35 um, but we will go along with the um, so once again in the comments we've converted the analog reading which goes from 0 to, to 123 uh, which is one, 1023 um, to a voltage of 0 to 5 volts and then finally we've converted that into a temperature and then what we do as, as I mentioned earlier was that we use the LCD to print out the um, temperature and also the voltage and then we put in a short delay and then that is the first part of the of the job really we've um, we've got the LCD set up it's working we have got an algorithm firstly to convert the um, digital read sorry the analog read on pin a0 into a voltage and then secondly to convert that voltage into a temperature and we call that temperature temp convert and then we've got the case of the stepper sorry the servo motor where we want the servo motor to um, assume a certain position now I fiddled around for ages with this being you know a bit of a noob when it comes to um, Arduinos and coding actually certainly with C um, and the most reliable way I found of doing this was to have um, an if condition which make sure that the um, the value you're looking for falls between two values so this first value here temp convert what this is basically saying is that if temp convert is greater than 25 and less than 40 40 degrees okay and that these double ands here that means that's the logical and okay only if both of these conditions are satisfied then my servo writes 180 degrees and what that does is that will send a signal using the servo library um, to your servo and set it at 108 degrees okay and then we call a delay of one second um, so things uh, are not happening at 100 miles an hour so we can actually see what's happening and then we go to another if condition and this time it's exactly the same but now I've gone between 22 degrees and 24.9 degrees and that will set the servo position for my servo right 90 send a signal pulse with modulated signal to have the servo go to 90 degrees once again another delay uh, and once again exactly the same code and this this works just fine um, it took me about two or three hours to figure it out um, so I'm giving you this for free but this works um, there you are you've got your temp convert exactly the same and finally 
well that will write that the the uh, servo motor to a position of zero zero degrees as I, I mentioned earlier once again delay and finally we've got if temp convert falls or is equal to 20.9 or lower than 20.9 which is what this means then we call in the the fail safe alarm which is digital write beep high um, and we, we talked about beep earlier which is the name I give to the buzzer beep from pin 7 we write beep to high pin 7 goes high we sound the buzzer we have a delay of um, in this case a hundred um, milliseconds or else or else and the else part is important here a beep goes low because if you don't put the else part in there that buzzer will just keep sounding and it is pretty annoying okay um, that's the basis of the program really you can quite easily mess around with some of the values in this as, as I said earlier you can definitely mess around with temp convert to get this to be more precise uh, I could definitely have got this more precise but I don't have any precise tools for measuring temperature in my kitchen so I had to guesstimate a lot of it but I think that my guesstimations were fairly accurate and certainly accurate enough and the temperature sense is responsive enough so that I could could work with it uh, in a reasonable time frame so that's it um, as I said as I move on through Arduino and learn more about Arduino the next thing is going, going to be a more sophisticated input which will be some type of keypad and I will use that keypad then to program some of the values that are in here so for it, a good example of that would be if I wanted to change the ranges of the uh, of the where the server motor will uh, will change so for example I could say I want to change the range this time it's going to go from 30 to 50 um, I could change the the point at which the uh, alarm will come on all of those things can be done but that's for tutorial number three this is the end of tutorial number two hope it helped uh, see you soon